How does that look? Hello there friends, I hope you are doing well. Today I'm going to be making sock puppets. I, <laughs> how, does the, how do I know if this is getting hot? Does it tell me? Taking this class called directing and for our first project we have to do this non-verbal scene where we have to like make a piece to a song. And I'm doing the song You and the Cockroach by Hobo Johnson and basically I'm telling the story through sock puppets. So now I have to make those sock puppets. So let's start crafting and then we're gonna see where life takes us. I went to Michael's yesterday and I I did some damage. I Michael's is a very overwhelming place, I would say. It has a lot of things in it and you don't need any of them, but you so for some reason want all of them. So the first thing I need to make is like an ocean. So I have this piece of felt and I think I'm going to just cut some waves out. So I'm just gonna draw down here and then I'll show you what I'm cutting. And I'm just gonna talk to you for a little bit. Let's talk about what's been going on in my life. So I moved back into college. I'm a sophomore now and it's been going definitely pretty good. What this situation is, is I didn't expect um, this year to be as big of a transition, but it was, if that makes sense, as like freshman year, just because I was like, oh, like freshman year is obviously hard and like it was a little hard at first, just because it's a big transition, like coming from high school and like moving away and like moving to a different place and living by yourself and doing all that. But like, I was like, oh, sophomore year, I got this, I'm doing that, whatever. But it's definitely like different, you know, because now I, um, I live in a place that has a kitchen and it's just more of like almost an apartment. So like I have to do things now like grocery shop and like feed myself. So like kind of dealing with that, dealing with like the cleaning situation, I don't know, I'm just trying to balance stuff is like, was kind of the transition this year. And like definitely it's been going a little rough. Like I'm not gonna lie to you, but I'm working on it. I'm working on my time management and I'm trying my hardest to try to balance everything out but sometimes it's just you know a little overwhelming a little crazy like i don't know how i'm gonna finish stuff sometimes but you know i'm doing the best i can and i think that other people also feel like this which makes me feel a little better so here's the water I think it actually looks kind of fine. I might like fix this part a little, but I'm not sure how. Wait, what? How? I can't even cut in a straight line. Like I actually can't. That's so concerning. That's not, I think my fine motor skills just really aren't like akin to everyone else's. Like I feel like in kindergarten we all learned how to cut and I like somehow like fell behind. Oh my god, oh, I have to go get my laundry. Okay, I have to go get my laundry. I'll be back. You won't know though, because I'm gonna, I'll cut it. Okay, I'm back. I put my hair up, so I know that's not great for like continuity, but I got hot, so. Sorry, okay, so where were we? We just made this ocean, and now we have to make amoeba. I think I mentioned. Amoeba are tiny little like things that are like single-celled organisms. So to represent that, I got some pom-poms, and what I'm thinking is I'm going to try to, oh, this is when I wish I would bought those popsicle sticks. But I have a lot of pipe cleaners, and so I think I'm just gonna tie a bunch of pom-poms to these, and so it can act as like a stick. So like the top of it is gonna act as like the stick part. Wait, this might look stupid. Well, I mean, honestly, okay. This like looks like slang from Horton Ears of Who, I feel like. Or this looks like a truffle tree, a little bit. That's not, I understand that's not Horton. Believe me, I know that's a Lorax. I literally love the Lorax so much. Okay, so I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna make one more. So here are my amoeba. Can we do some more updates on life? I don't have any more things. Oh, I just bought something. So I bought this back massager. So, okay, here's a fun fact about me. I am in like pain on my back like most of the time. Like my neck and specifically like my like traps like right here hurt so bad. And so I bought this back massager and it, <laughs> When you turn it on, it like, I don't know if you can see, but like there's like balls and they're rotating. Ow. And it like pops all my knots and it's just the best thing I've ever bought. I wish you could hear what is popping next to on my back right now. It's the, my knots are literally crackling. Maybe that's gross. 
do is just plug it in and like just sit here and be like, mm, nice. Oh, good morning. Hee hee hee. And you can make you go faster. You can massage your head. Ow, 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 ow. Someone's gonna like squeeze my neck. I feel like I'm gonna like, it's gonna like pinch a nerve and I'm gonna die, but other than that, I'm feeling good. It looks like I have a baby. Or it looks like I have like a, you know when you're a wrestler and you like have your belt and it's like that? Do you know what I'm talking about? I've never watched wrestling, but I know they do that. We have to make sock puppets. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. That, that's the sock puppet. There's a sock, it's a sock puppet. You've seen a sock puppet before. So I bought googly eyes. I bought really big googly eyes. Um, I'll show you. I saw these eyes and I knew I had to have them. Like something inside me was like, even if you don't use them for this, like you will use them for the rest of your life. I think I'm gonna make it so this is like the top because there, this is no nonsense. If this is your sock puppet, you're going like that. The eyes are gonna be like here. Okay, so I think the eyes are gonna go like here. And I kind of want them to stand up, but I don't think they can. <laughs> up like this? Like, what is his name? Ubi, Ubi, Ubi. Okay, okay. When the thumb, or it talked, and it had eyes like that. Like, up here. These are so good. <laughs> Tell me this is not the funniest thing you've literally ever seen. So I glued this fin to it, and it's going to be ripped off. So I'm gonna give him a little like, I think bow tie, just cause um, I need to show that he's a boy and she's a girl. And I, gender roles, I get it, but unfortunately we can't be woke today. We have to be a little bit choked, if you will. Uh oh, wait, what went wrong? Wait, what went wrong? Something went wrong, something went wrong. <sighs> um, maybe, oh, that, okay. So we're, so we're gonna try again, I think. Okay, new plan. I'm making two halves and connecting them. Okay, this looks fine. This is gonna work. Okay, great, I did it. Okay, so what's gonna happen now is my man over here is gonna get a little bow tie. That's so cute. Oh, so he has this bow tie. Oh, that's so cute. And then he's gonna have to become a cockroach. So I need to make him a little headband for when he's a cockroach. Good enough. Okay, so he needs a little headband, but how big is his head? Not big at all. Okay, I'm gonna cut one in half to make a headband for him. I might go off camera and make the other one just because, like, this has been taking a little long and, like, y'all don't want to watch this video at all. <laughs> Every time I do something, it's, like, so cute to me. He's just, like, cute. He's just, like, a little cutie baby. Tell me this isn't cute. Like, I just think this is adorable. I feel like they look alike. Oh, what, I know you're wondering about my watch. It's actually a slap bracelet. It's also a watch, so no big deal or whatever. My my mom sent it to me. I, I like I don't I don't want to brag. I really really don't want to brag, but like my mom sent it to me. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the camera. I'm gonna really quickly make the girl one. Okay, hi, I'm back. Um, I that actually did not take long at all. I think I just got I, because I knew what to do this time. It just kind of went by fast. So here is the girl one. She, instead of having like the bow tie, she has this like necklace on, it's like sparkly. I actually might move it up, just I'm concerned about inhibiting hand motion. But yeah, so she has a fin too that's gonna get ripped off. I keep ripping stuff open and like it's stressing me out. So if it's stressing you out, I'm sorry because it's stressing me out honestly. So you're not alone if you're getting stressed by my behavior right now. Okay, I made this thing, it says scientist. Scientist, and so she's gonna get it and she's gonna be on and then it's gonna say, Scientist. I did also go ahead and buy this um, yellow glitter that I'm not doing anything with. I literally just bought it because I like it. There's little stars in it. Wait, I want this to focus. It's so cute. There's little stars in it and I don't know what to do with it, but I want to do a lot. So I think that's it for today. I'm gonna put a couple more stars on my face to close this video. Please hold. I think the moral of the story today is that if you want to craft, you should just craft. It doesn't matter if it looks good. It doesn't matter what it's for. Go find a hot glue gun, find some felt, find some pipe cleaners, and find some googly eyes and go for it. Because it'll make you feel good, and it's really fun, and I had a good time. And I hope you had an okay time watching this. Um, subscribe, I promise I will be posting more videos. I 
feel sad that I was away for so long, but I'm happy to be back. And I love you very much if you're watching this, and I hope you have a good day or night or afternoon, and that you are doing really well. Goodbye. Comment below if I should go out like this. <laughs>